Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I'm just going to show you in this video the power of distilled white vinegar mixed with water when cleaning out a combustion chamber. Okay, so I want about 50% water, 50% vinegar. Made a slight adjustment. So we're going to bring the vinegar up to here. Okay, okay, so we've got 50-50, we give it a little mix. And I have my spray bottle ready for my next services. Okay, so I have turned my boiler down. Let's turn it down a bit more. And I've had the pump run, pump overrun symbol on. And my boiler has cooled down. So I'm gonna turn it off and start cleaning. Gas supply off. Power off, 10 mil socket set in place. Okay, we've got those nuts removed. Now it's time to take off the spark and then, uh, and then the, um, and to take off the earth lead. Now we're gonna remove the connection to the gas valve and uh, power to the fan and the modulating to the fan. Got our venturi out the way, so our air inlet connected to the venturi. Okay, now to just disconnect the the gas connection to the to the gas valve. Okay, so if we have a look, if we have a look inside here, you can see that it needs a good clean. So have a look at it now, and we'll see the impact of the distilled vinegar on it. Okay. Okay, whilst that starts doing its work for a good, I haven't used up much, as you can see. It's just gone down slightly from my, from my mark. Um, and what I'm gonna do is let that start doing its work over the next five to 10 minutes um, whilst I'm brushing down the burner. And then I'll come back and brush this off. So on my burner, I'm gonna replace um, the insulation, the gasket and the other rubber gasket as well and give this a clean down with some um, distilled vinegar and water and then rinse it rinse the the water and vinegar off with um with with water okay finally got the screws out they did take a little while can see this insulation um, needs changing as it has a crack in it and um, has seen better days going to give this a clean up Much better, old versus the new. Okay, so we've got the old gasket out and we're putting in the new, the new gasket in here. Okay, and we have the window wiper edge on the rubber gasket facing up. Okay, now I'm gonna just um, spray this with some distilled water and vinegar. Okay, gonna let that do its work and then go back to the boiler.
gonna start giving it a brush down with my soft brush and see the difference okay I hope you can see the slight difference or significant difference and um, do remember to be careful of the insulation at the back to not damage it um, so I am going to spray it some more okay I had to get my wire brush out and just give it a slight a soft brush even though this is a wire brush I'm just trying to give it a gentle brush I'm not pushing hard the manufacturers recommend water and a soft brush I'm using a wire brush and distilled vinegar and distilled white vinegar mixed with water and just gently brushing hair but you have to be ever so careful with this because you can damage the heat exchanger okay back to our burner so the vinegar's had some time to do its work we're going to give it a bit of a clean down now I'm going to just use my soft brush first then I gently used my wire brush follow the manufacturer's instructions I'm going to rinse the distilled white vinegar and water off now gonna change my spark electrode okay back up here time to keep brushing okay it's getting there it's not as clean as I would like but it is much better okay so we have that we have the burner reconnected okay just going to give in here one last rinse through now but this with some cold water only time to clean out the condensate trap as it's picked up a lot of muck as we were washing through Okay, that's rinsed right through okay that's up and twisted so it's in there okay they're hand tight in at the moment time to talk them up okay that's tightened up time to do my connections okay let's get our gas valve gasket back in okay that's tightened up okay we've got our connections in our modulating and fan speed connection our, our fan connection up there, a live mutual and earth, we've got a gas valve connection in, spark electrode connection, spark electrode plug, earth, our air intake, okay, carry out your tightness test, okay and then re-establish your gas supply once your tightness test is complete, power on, power on increase the temperature Then carry out your high and low readings with your analyzer. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, please leave comments in the section below. Bye bye bye.